Hi, this is Chris Gerald with Everyday VBA. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at um, how to move data from one table to another table in Excel. Um, this is can be uh, very useful if you're doing um, if you're doing sales or you've got a different worksheet and you're working through your contact list, trying to bust out sales. So that's why I did this. Uh, a couple changes to Macro Monday. I had a I had a gentleman reach out to me. He's like, "Why do you take your YouTube's videos down and your Macro Monday solutions?" I was like, I don't really know, so I'm going to leave those up starting now. So uh, Macro Monday is going to be exactly the same. I'm going to put the put the videos out, the challenges that go out on Monday, the solutions go out on Friday, and instead of taking them down, I'm going to leave them up. And actually, all of the um, the uh, my past Macro Monday solutions are actually out there and they're live. So if you want to check those out, um, or uh, please do that. I've got a playlist on the on YouTube. So this is an awesome Macro Monday. Um, now this actually is an example uh, given to, someone reached out to me um, and said, hey, I, this is the challenge that I've got. So I thought, hey, I'll just do that for Macro Monday. So this is pretty simple. You've got a, a set of data. Um, let's say that you're, you're closing deals like a, like a crazy man and you're coming in here and you wanna basically move all this data um, after it's closed or after a certain cell is basically non-blank is what I did on this one. Um, and so what we did is we came in here and so what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to run this macro and it's going to move this data. So look for Arnold, uh, Arnold in Osterhout, where the ha wherever that's at. I have no clue. And we're going to move that data to the next row here. Um, and so that's really this challenge. So uh, what we got here is we got a macro. We're going to call it move data, and it's going to take all these X's. It's going to delete the data, and it's going to remove it all, move it all to the other page. So we click run. You'll notice it's all gone, and it's moved over here. Now we can keep doing this. It's pretty awesome. We can come in here, and we can type whatever we want because I did, I did make sure that it was blank. So we could actually put in the date that it was closed. Um, so uh, sh shift colon. You could actually do control shift colon, that gives you the time. Uh, there's all sorts of options there. But again, we run this again, we run, come back here, we notice that that turned it to decimal, that's exciting. Um, that's actually the general, that's, uh, that's funny. Let's go and fix that. So we're gonna make this short date. Um, that actually is a time, that's a date, because times and dates, uh, one day equals one in most computer programming languages. All right, so that is your Macro Monday challenge for today, and I hope you enjoyed.